Welcome to Saturday Night with the NBA on 2K Sports. An exciting game on the way. And tonight, we'll see the Memphis Grizzlies as they go up against the Charlotte Hornets here at Spectrum Center. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Ali LaForce joining us courtside. And the starting lineup for the Grizzlies. We've got Jackson. John Moran is out there with Luke Kennard. Then it's Brandon Clark. And it's Williams in at small forward. And for Charlotte, they've got Alexei Pokashevsky. Miller is out there with Miles Bridges. Then it's Ball. And it's Dixon in at the point guard position. Grant, the all-star break is soon approaching. How important is that break for the players? Oh, the break, it is so crucial. It is needed, no question about it. And any chance to get some rest is a big bonus. Also, of course, refocusing as a team and making a plan for the rest of the year. Here we go. And so off the tip, it's Charlotte. One of the factors tonight, of course, the matchup between Ja Morant and MP. And there's bound to be a feeling out process as this one is the first ever NBA encounter between these two. The first word that comes to my mind with John Morant, explosive, very tight spaces. And so it's Charlotte with it, following the bucket by the Grizzlies. And it's good, two points. Even though some people doubted them, there are just as many people, if not more, who believed in this team from the very beginning. And it's pretty clear right now who was right. Making a statement here early, going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's nice to see him be assertive instead of settling for a jump shot to improve every single year and still believes he can get even better than he is now. You gotta love it. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. Ball outside. Pass to Dixon. Let's the three fly on target from range. Nine points in the game. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. Yeah, he's trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. <laughs> no debate there. Martin with the ball. Beyond the arc. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first run. Jet two-way player. His ability in the pick and roll is something that is always a positive thing for his team. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Shooting from beyond the arc. Pass to Dixon. Over Kennard. And again, it's Charlotte converting. And it's a big... Dixon. He's got 15. Here he goes. Goes back up. Up and in on the layup. Dixon's got 17. Here's Dixon. Hounded by Moran. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Here's Dixon. 18 points for him. Bridges a screen on Young. Here's Dixon. That one's good. He's now 8 for 13. These teams just feeling each other out. Yeah, I love the spirit out there. Already six lead exchanges. Milwaukee in their last game. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. They were able to focus and finish the task at hand. And the mental game you talk about. Three on the clock. For three, Bridges. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. P coming out strong, setting the tone for this matchup. Here's Dixon. And the Hornets, another three. And they found a nice flow offensively here and gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Here's Moran. Moran flashes his vertical there. What I love about Morant is that he understands his strengths on... ...to go here in the second. Williams with the screen. Here's Dixon, pounded by Morant. And there's the basket, and the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. And five on the shot clock. Here's Morant, deflected! 
Myers Dixon. 26 points for him. Drops in the layup for two. Dixon's got 28. Now here's Williams. No made baskets yet. They still need this. Dixon, good. And the Hornets lead by two. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. Second. 24 seconds left in the second period. Dixon, good. Dixon's got 32 points in the game. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. That one, the defense got real lucky there. Okay, look out! Wow! And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. He got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Dixon, hounded by Moran. Count the basket. Dixon's got 36 points. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might... Picked by Pokashevsky. Here's Dixon. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. Dixon's got 38 points. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Now Morant. He's got 19. Morant with the slam! He'll put you on your heels in a hurry. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock. And got it! Another basket! Well, he's gone up to 40. And he's got 41 now for the tie. And he lays it up and in. Five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Clark on the double. Pass to Miller for the lead. Knocks down the triple. Miller's gotten himself going. There's the triple. Ball oh, cashes one in from distance. Fearless from beyond the arc. Pass to Moran. The steal. Here's Dixon, hounded by Moran. Dixon, good. Dixon's got 47 points. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Here's Dixon. Non-stop scoring machine right here. VA, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it. Pass to Bridges. Six on the shot clock. Here's Miller. And again, Charlotte with the triple. And Enough room to get just like an easy layup. Richard, if you think about Smart, he's such a dependent. Oh, connects again. 50 points for him yet again. And I feel privileged to watch him go to work this season. Well, now he has pulled even for the second most 50-point games in a single season. What a year. And he's done it 30 times. I mean, it's unreal. That was the mark that prime Wilt Chamberlain established all the way back in 1963. Here's Dixon. Floats one. Yep, count it. Dixon's got 53 points. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Pass to Miller. Five on the clock. Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. The B.A., it feels like he can't miss. And that's what you get from Brandon Miller. I mean, he can really whip passes there around the court. How they've been attacking the lane. It's been beautiful. All game long, they've been successful, penetrating, and getting offensive production. Yeah, another thing they did well was feed the ball into the paint. They really utilized their size there tonight. Shooting a low 26% on the fourth. Dixon. Good. He hits again. 60 points. This guy can't be stopped right now. They've had no answer for him in this one. Over to the wing. Out to Bridges. 
Launches the three. And the Hornets, another three. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Inside and stolen by Williams. And this is so critical. They now have to score. Oh, an impossible move. Clark with the screen. Morant. The shot no good. And so it's the Hornets who come out on top here. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. So long, everybody.